So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the splitting balls problem, which occurred in the November long 2022 challenge of courtship. So the question is very simple. It states that you are given an array of balls where each ball has a value written on it. And after one second, the balls get splitted into that number of balls and the value on the balls of the, on the balls that are splitted, it becomes that number minus one. That is let's say for two there was one ball for this case there was one ball which was number two so now it gets split into two balls which has got number two minus one that is one one written on it and after it, it is written one it is it cannot be split anymore okay so what you have to do is you have to one second let me check the question first you have to find the number of balls in the bag after 10 to the power 100 seconds uh, the 10 to the power 100 seconds this thing is a very bogus thing this is not needed this is just a upper limit because after that uh, there will be no, no balls which will be not numbered one so basically you have to find out how many balls will be numbered one okay so now the qu thing about this is let's say this is k so k a ball on which k is written it gets splitted into it gets split at k times and now the balls are k minus 1 k minus 1 and dot 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 okay so the, from k to 1 how many balls are there okay this is the question that is k balls get splitted into k minus 1 written balls of k times okay which gets splitted into k minus 2 written balls of k minus 1 times of this times and it goes on continuing okay so basically for every number we have to find the factorial of k and the answer would be sum of factorials of the elements of the array okay so this is the basic thing uh, now about the code very important thing that is this may show a very big TLE, okay, because fact calculating factorial that is very big. So we know that the k value, that is a of i value, it's less than equal to 10 to the power 6, okay. So before hand, before starting the test case loop, that is t minus minus that's this loop, beforehand we have to make an array of factorial size. Uh, uh, of this size okay one two three four one two three four five okay no one more zero okay so this size and for every let's say factorial and give factorial one as one and then run a loop from this is a different thing okay so you have to do this do this whole thing before the while loop that is the before the test case while loop okay um, now run a loop from for i is equals to two so i is less than equals to 10 to the power 6 i plus plus and factorial i is equals to i into factorial i minus 1 and factorial i mod is equals to 10 to the power 9 plus 7 i guess the mod thing okay i don't remember and then inside the while loop in 10 take this input take this as input um, run a loop and from 0 to n and for every ar of i answer plus is equals to factorial of arr of i okay and obviously you know answer mod is equals to 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and then print the answer so this is the basic code for this uh, it's a little bit uh, you know what it's not basically clear my writing is not basically clear but i hope you have understood this okay so this is it thank you